Hi, this is Sasi. I am from Kerala. I am graduate in mathematics. I have completed my BA course and I qualified CTET also. I have 15 years of teaching experience. Today I am going to explain you one of the topic from 10th class that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic. I repeat fundamental theorem of arithmetic. Let us discuss first of all definition. What is the definition of fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes and this prime factor is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occur. I repeat it. Every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes. This prime factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur. First of all, let us discuss what is prime number is. A number which has only two factors, then that numbers are called prime numbers. A number which has only two factors, one and itself, then that numbers are called prime numbers. Examples of prime numbers. Two, only two factors, one and two. Three, only two factors, one and three. Next, five, one and five. Next, seven, etc. These numbers are examples of prime numbers. Because it has only two factors, one and itself. Now let us discuss composite numbers. A number which has more than two factors, I mean three or four, etc. A number which has more than two factors, then that numbers are called composite numbers. Examples of composite numbers are first four, it has more than two factors. I mean 1, 2 and 4. Factors of 4. 1, 2, 4. Next. 6. It has more than 2 factors. Factors of 6 are 1, 2, 3 and 6. Now 8. Next. 9, 10 etc. Are examples of composite number. What is composite numbers is a number which has more than two factors, I mean three or four, etc. Then that numbers are called composite numbers. One important thing is one. First natural number that is one is neither prime nor composite. Number first number natural number one is neither prime nor composite. It is not prime number and also not composite number. Already we discussed prime numbers as well as composite number. Now you know very well 36, 68 and 100 are the examples of composite number. Already we discussed the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. What is fundamental theorem of arithmetic is every composite number composite number we can express as the product of primes and this prime factor is unique apart from the order in which prime factor of R we discussed now let us factorize this 36 68 as well as 100 first 36 prime factorization it is even number so half 18 now it is also even number we can do division by 2 half 9 9, not on, not even number, so we can check with the 3. 3, 3 is 9. So, 36, we can write 2 into 2 into 3 into 3. I mean, 2 square into 3 square. Not only 2 square into 3 square. It, we can write 3 square into 2 square also. Now, let us discuss 68. 68 half 34 even number so again 2 17 so this 68 we can represent 2 square into 17 or 17 into 2 square now let us discuss 100 even number half 50 even number again we can do division by 2 25 25 
not even number we can check with the 3 2 plus 5 7 we cannot do division by 3 now let us check with 5 5 5 is 25 now this 100 we can write 100 equal to 2 square into 5 square or 5 square into 2 square why I written 2 square into 5 square or 5 square into 2 square here also 2 square into 17 I have done here 17 into 2 square here 2 square into 3 square here I have done 3 square into 2 square let us recall fundamental theorem of arithmetic every composite number can be expressed as the product of primes product of primes prime product prime numbers prime numbers product and this prime factors it means unique this prime factorization is unique apart from the order in which the prime factor occur. Order may change 2 square into 3 square. Here 3 square into 2 square. Order may change, no problem. But every composite number can be expressed as a product of primes. This prime factor is unique apart from the order in which prime factor occur. Okay, thank you for watching my class.